everyone, this is Lisa from Canine Clips and this is Gizmo and Gizmo is a sheep who is coming for his full grooming today and I'm going to show you that video. So I'm going to be doing a uh, three and three quarter inch blade on the body and uh, trimming up his face a bit shorter. His brother is here in the room with us so he's uh, a little vocal over there so you might hear him whining in the background and I keep them together um, so that they can see each other he's just in a baby gated area so he can be part of the action and uh, then I don't have to separate them I find it keeps them calmer so they're together And they can see each other. So this is the first time I'm grooming Gizmo here. He is uh, 12 years old. And he seems pretty relaxed. So as you can also see, I don't use any restraints when I groom a dog. And that is true for all types of dogs. And uh, even if they are a little bit resistant, we're puppies or senior dogs or a little bit nippy and anything in between I guess. Okay. So this first cut is just to kind of take off the bulk of the hair. It's not going to get it all pretty and finished. I'm going to be finishing that up after the bath. It's just kind of get the bulk off so that when I do give him a bath, I'm able to do so a little bit cleaner. A little bit sensitive with the clippers on the leg. Of course, when you're working with any of the clipper blades, you want to make sure to check them regularly so they don't get warm on you. So I usually check them here because that's a very sensitive area for me. So if it's getting warm for me, it's getting warm for them. You can also, uh, I do have some videos of me where I trim the bod, the face, feet, and bum area first and nails and ears kind of thing so i do that first then i bath then i use the clippers um, because that keeps those clippers nice and cool for a lot longer and that's a good way to start out um, especially if you don't have a lot of extra clippers on hand that just keeps them cooler longer and also keeps them sharper for longer
Okay, I'm just gonna switch positions here so I can. Uh, So a little bit of matting there that I can't get through it, so I'm just going to leave that for now. I'll come back with a shorter blade. And I don't really want to try to get under it with these clippers because it will tug quite a bit. And it's around the area where he pees, so quite prone to matting in that area as well. So I like to trim that area a little shorter anyway. If you want to check out more videos of me grooming dogs, I have many videos of me grooming dogs all without restraints on my channel. And I have a uh, set up some playlists for you to uh, look through that um, kind of categorizes everything if you're looking for something more specific and of course always I'd appreciate it if you would subscribe and also comment and let me know if you'd like to see something different that you are looking for that I don't have for you yet so this is the number five so I just kind of use my fingers to kind of pull it down and that kind of gets on the outside. And you got to be careful because this skin is loose here. So you don't want to go upwards to catch any of that skin. Okay, so I'm going to do the inside of the back length now with the five. So this is one length shorter than the top and body. Okay. There we go. And I'm going to do the other side here. going to trim this side to match the other side. All right, so I'm now going to switch to a number seven blade to go where the bum area is. Go a little bit outwards from there. Yeah, if there's anything I see. And then uh, I'm going to use the number 10 as well. And we'll go under here. Oh, <laughs> fight, buddy. Okay. Oh. Yeah. okay. A little bit of matting under there. I'm just going to add some oil to my clipper blades. You 
is a little bit stiff, so I'm going to try to do it this way. Instead of lifting him. And that's what you need to do with dog grooming when um, not one technique works on every dog because they may have a limitation just on their balance or stiffness or injury, so you always got to adapt with them. As it comes up, so. And that's just learning by doing. It's okay, Bernie. His brother's just eagerly awaiting his brother. Come visit him. Yeah, I know. His nails are really nice and healthy. You can tell they're getting groomed regularly. Okay. Just getting ready to get picked up. Busy day today. Everybody's talking. Okay, so when I cut the nails, I kind of, there's, it goes a little bit thinner. Um, where the angle is, so I just cut straight across from there. And when dog's nails are cut regularly, 
and I can tell these guys, this girl, this guy has, um, their quick doesn't grow as long. So you're able to trim them up a little bit nicer. This one's still the quick to bleed a little bit. It's right at the end of it, so they're really nice, healthy nails. As you can see, the dog wasn't in any discomfort. It's not uncommon for them to uh, bleed. But sometimes it's a little scary to see. But it is, does help to have your dog's nails done regularly. I use scissors predominantly, as you can see, for around the feet, but I have some videos of me also using clippers versus scissors in my playlist there. Um, kind of more in the training of how to be a dog groomer. Um, or just trimming the feet, face, feet, and bum kind of thing. I have them in there. So just things, um, you got to find what uh, you prefer and more comfortable with. I find the dogs are a little bit more calmer when I use the scissors. Although, yes, they are appear to be very sharp, and they are sharp. But um, if you learn the proper techniques and control, um, I find it more relaxing for the dog. There we go. Okay, come on. All the feet are done. Now I'm going to trim up his face. Got quite a talkative one there. Oh, yeah. Ooh. Everyone's talkative today. So 
when uh, I was doing Gizmo's feet here, I had another dog get dropped off. That's why you can hear a little bit more noise. <laughs> and Jill Talker out there. So she is just my next one to be groomed. I do have some behind the scenes footage of that coming up. And that'll be for my members who want to see a little bit more of behind the scenes of being a dog groomer. Kind of gives you the insight of what it is like to be a dog groomer and just uh, some things you come across that uh, maybe aren't all that glamorous, not like I'm making it out to be, <laughs> which I pretty much have no frills here. Just the basics of being a dog groomer or grooming a dog. But there are many aspects to uh, running your own business as well. And uh, other than just the grooming itself. So it gives a different perspective on things. <laughs> and she's just waiting in a baby gated area. So what I did was I paused the video um, in order to have someone drop off a dog. It's the only feature I use. That's how I can do my before and after videos as well. Hit that pause button, thankfully. I'm not much talented in any of the other aspects. All right. So I trimmed up just right underneath all his ear canal there. So I got it nice and close. So that when I pluck his ears here, which I just use some regular tweezers. And they have the nice angle on them, but they're really thick, thick, good tweezers. And they last a long time, but eventually they do wear out. I've had one pair over the 16 years that uh, when I was plucking a dog's ear, they just came apart. They split in half because I'd used them so many times that the metal finally broke down. But I think it took maybe about 10 years for it to do that, so, or longer. I, can, I don't even remember what it was. It was, it was a long time, and it was just kind of funny that they just kind of came apart. And they were fairly good quality, but I think I upgraded when I bought this pair as well. You know, because they were like $20 or something crazy like that. But they will stand the test of time. So you will get your money's worth out of it. So don't be afraid to spend some good money on some tweezers. All right. So he doesn't have too much hair in there. But it is quite waxy. So it's kind of sticking together there. Okay. We're going to do the other side. You can't see anything from that angle, so hopefully this will help. I try my best to give you the best angles, but I'm sorry if I do block it. I've tried looking up different things for um, equipment, but haven't found anything that I think would work any better. So if you have any suggestions, you can let me know. I've seen some groomers that wear it on their head or chest. 
I tried a little bit to film with that, but I always found the camera wasn't looking at the right area for you guys. So I didn't even use those videos. You can hear me talking, um, but you really don't get the view that I was hoping for. But if you have any other ideas and maybe other certain specific um, brands that I should be looking at, you can let me know in the comments. Okay, we're going to brush out his ears, or comb out his ears. Ooh. They're a little bit thick and a little bit of matting in there, so I'm just going to use the thinning shears. Take out some of the bulk so that it's easier to do. I don't see that other dog. Relaxed a little bit here. She's realizing her mama ain't coming back yet. A little bit of peace and quiet for a little bit. Sometimes it can get pretty noisy in here. All right. So that should help me to get through some of these mats a little easier. thicker at the back of the ear here. There we go. All right, I'm not going to, instead of trying to tug all that out at the end, I'm just going to kind of bunch it up and take the cut off of there. Have to trim it up anyways and that's what I combed out and then I will do it again I don't want to really tug too much there there we go so I can show you the one side compared to the other side oh. <laughs> maybe I am going to go to the other side. I already thinned it out. Oh, but I see there's a big one here. So I'm just going to... And I know on the other side it was a little thicker. Right back there. So I'm just going to get that one there. All right, so now I'm going to just, uh, oops, sorry, 
sorry. Make sure that's even. He holds them out a little bit, so but they look even there. So I'll see how they look after the bath. They look good for now. I'll just do the tail and then we can get it into the tub. I can see it's gonna need some thinning materials as well. Get underneath all those little tangles. Trim it up to even it all out. Okay, and then we're ready for the bath.
finished up there. Okay, so we're gonna go back to the table. All right, so we're gonna give her some ear protection. And we'll give her a nice blow dry. Okay, just had to pause because the owner is here to pick up. So I do only keep these guys for the uh, whole time that they're here, and uh, which is during filming. So it's about an hour. And I had him and his brother. So I'm just about finished. The owner is a little bit early. That's all nice and clean. So what I'm going to do is just use the blow dryer now to, um, since he did so well on the head um, and the body once again, and then I'll just trim up the head once last time, and then we'll be all done.
there. So you can kind of see it fluffs up the head a little bit and then I'm able to finish up that cut. And just even it all out. There we go, and he is all finished up. So I hope you enjoyed this video, and uh, please check out other videos on my channel of me grooming dogs from start to finish, um, without any restraints, of course, but also some tips on how to just keep your dog nice and healthy, and uh, just targeted videos as well if you're just looking to do the ears or nails or face, and so on. So thanks for watching, and I hope you'll subscribe and keep on watching. Have a great day. See you soon.